y'all oh this word mm -hmm. we about to get into this word today y'all got my door open because i came out here so fast so excited to come record this word and i left my key in the house and it's hot so i gotta leave this door open so y'all don't focus on that but anyways y'all let's get into this word y'all this word that god gave me um he's really been speaking this he's been speaking to this to me so much and um this is like a reminder you know he's been using this with me and so i feel led to get on here and to encourage somebody else with this to start incorporating this in your life and start realizing and looking at well first ask yourself i'm, I'm asking y'all what language are you using daily these daily things that you're speaking over yourself that you're speaking over your situations what language are you using what language are you using this small language are you constantly speaking death over yourself or are you speaking life over yourself when we go to the word of god mm, y'all please catch this message when we start looking at when you just sit back and you read the word and you you get in your bible and you read these scriptures and you see the things that god says about you you see the the the, the type of victory how he speaks victory and life and blessings when we read that stuff god is a god uses big language God uses big language when he describes his when he describes his promises for us. When he describes who we are in him. He speaks big language. Big language, things like abundance. You know what I mean? Like things like you should go, you should go inherit the land. You should go conquer an entire nation. He don't tell you you're going to just go down the street. You you gonna just obtain? You just gonna conquer down the street? No, he tells you he he uses big language when he talks when he talks about us when he talks to us. So God said, what language are you coming into agreement with? What language are you speaking? God said today I need you to know that I am a big God. I am a big God. So when when you dealing with these things in your life, when you going through these situations in, in life, God said I need you to have big faith big faith what are you believing what are you coming into agreement with start being conscious of the things that you are speaking over yourself you got to start catching yourself y'all listen to me listen to me you want to start changing your mind you want god to to start re like really renewing your mind start with what you speaking start with the things that's coming out of your mouth start with the things that you're believing what is that belief system looking like what is that? Do you have a limited belief system where you believe in God to do little things or you thinking that 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 um God can never do these things for me? God can never show up for me like this. Th these things can never change for me. That you speaking little things. God is a big God. God is an unlimited God. God said, I need you to stop putting me in this box. Why do you keep putting me in this box? Why do you keep putting limits on me? Limits on what I can do. Limits on what I'm trying to do. God said, no, no, it's time to start using your language. It's time to start using your language to, to defeat the enemy, the very enemy that be trying to defeat you, tear you down. I'm talking about dragging you by your hair. This is, ooh, y'all, the enemy be tearing you up. He, be, he, 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 he don't be tearing me up no more because I don't play them games with him anymore. But for somebody, the enemy be tearing you up, dragging you down the street. God said, it's just in your language. It's just in what you start with that. God, I just need you to start speaking big things, good things. Catch yourself. Catch yourself. When the enemy try to come in, come in your mind with these lies, you stop the enemy right then and there. No, devil, you're a lie. This is what God says about me. These are the plans that God has for me. These are the promises that he speaks for me. And when God speaks these things about me and to me, ooh, he's a big God. Ooh, he uses big language. So that's what I'm going to start incorporating in my life. That's what I'm going to start coming into agreement with. That's what I'm going to start speaking god said i'm big g i'm big g what are you saying i'm big god i'm big g when you when you talk about me ain't nothing little about us what god ain't nothing little about me you better not ever put a lowercase g in front of my name god said i'm the big g i'm the i'm the og i'm the big g around here all these people walk around talking about g this g that i'm the g this the g god said i'm the big g I, you better capitalize the G in my name and know the type of God that you serve. Know who I am. So stop telling yourself that these things cannot happen for you. Stop coming into agreement with the lies and the deception of the enemy.
God said, and God said, what I have for you, ooh, God said, big everything. What are you saying? Big everything, big blessings, big breakthrough, big dreams, big vision, big healing. What are you saying? God said, everything, big bank account. What are you talking about? Big house, big car, big breakthrough. This is what God is speaking to somebody right now. I need you to start realizing that I am a big God. I am a big God. Stop thinking little. Stop thinking. Check your check your mindset. Check your thinking. It's time to change the way you think. It's time to change the way you see things. God said, I'm doing a new thing. A new it's per, it, do you not perceive it? It's happening right now. The big things that I have for you, the big things that are in store for you. What are you saying? God said it's happening right now. God said, big, big turning your pain into purpose. Ooh, big businesses, big books. Mm. My God, I hear you speaking, Holy Spirit. Big, everything big, everything big in your life. All these things that you, 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 um, you come into agreement with the small. Oh, ain't nobody going, ain't nobody going to buy my stuff. Ain't, ain't nobody going, ain't nobody going to watch my videos. Ain't nobody going to do this. Ain't nobody. I'm not, I'm not good enough. Who am I to get on here and get on these platforms? Who am I to be trying to get on social media, trying to tell somebody something? Who am I to be trying to write a book? Who am I to be thinking that I can get over this stuff in my life? This is, this is what my bloodline face. This is what my, everybody in my, in my bloodline done went through this stuff. So that means I'm going to go through it. Who am I to overcome this stuff? Who am I to have a testimony? God said, God said, what do you mean? I am a big God. The devil is a lie. The, talking about a testimony, big testimony. What are you saying? Big, big, big transformation, big change, big growth. What are you talking about right now? Guys, I need you to stop telling yourself these things. Stop coming into agreement with the lie. Y'all see, I have to pop the, pop the uh, door back open. Stop coming into agreement with these lies. My God. My God, what are you believing? What are you, what are you believing? What are you partnering with God today about whatever that situation is in your life? God said, I need you to put big in front of it. Big, big, big finances. Ooh, big finances, big business. Mm, big, big, big peace, big peace, big hope, big joy, big happiness. Come on, y'all. Big. Everything is big. Everything. That's how you got to start seeing your life. See, I don't care what it looks like today. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what picture the enemy is trying to paint to you right now. God said, I just need you to put big in front of it. Big in front of it. Change your mindset. Change your thinking. Change. Stop. Stop. Stop, stop putting the lid on me. Take the lid off. Take the limitations off and believe in the big things. Believe in the, the big blessings. Believe in the big dreams. That vision I told you to go write. Don't write, don't sit back and write a, a vision. Don't just don't just write any type of vision that be based off of what you can see. Or just write it big. Write it big. Don't write that I want to be a thousandaire. Write, I'm going to be a millionaire. Write. God said, ooh. God said, if you will just have faith like never before right now. And all these things that I'm telling you to do, all these things that you are believing or you're trying to believe, God said, if you just put big in front of it right now and come into agreement with the big, I'm going to show you the big. I'm going to show you why you bet not never put little in front of my name. I'm never a little God. I am a big God, y'all. I love y'all so much. I hope y'all enjoyed this word. Start speaking this. Start coming into agreement with this. Start doing this in your life, in your daily life. Check yourself. Catch yourself. When you come into agreement with these lies of the enemy, y'all blow up the chat. If you ready to come into agreement with the big things, I need y'all to just get in the chat and say big, 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 everything, whatever it is in your life, whatever it is that you are struggling with right now, put big in front of it. I love y'all so much. I will see you in the next video.